Hello everyone. In this video, I will be taking up the topic reflex action. A very small topic but very very important uh, topic uh, with reference to any of the board exams whether it is CBSC or ICSC. Now starting up with the reflex action, first of all the definition of reflex action. What is reflex action? The immediate action performed by our body on receiving any stimulus is known as reflex action. What is reflex action? Again, if I uh, simplify it and give the answer, reflex action is whatever action our body is performing whenever we receive any stimulus. That is, if someone pinches us, if someone strikes us, immediately we'll remove our hand. That is a reflex action. That is the immediate action performed by our body on receiving the stimulus of pinching or beating. That is known as reflex action. The immediate action performed by the body on receiving any stimulus is known as reflex action. Now before starting up in detail, there are certain terms related to reflex action which are very important. That is stimulus, receptor, effector, response, Okay, first is stimulus. What is stimulus? The change in external environment to lead to any of reflex action is known as stimulus. In layman language, in a normal language, stimulus is any feeling of hotness, coldness, anger, pain, pleasure, pressure, all these are stimulus. That is whatever we are receiving, whatever external environment is giving to us, that is a stimulus. Yeah, when, we, when we have to quote the proper definition, the what is stimulus? The change in external environment which lead to a particular reflex action is known as stimulus. Then is the receptor. The part of the body which receives the stimulus is known as receptor. What is a receptor? The part of the body which receives the stimulus is known as a receptor. Like all the sense organs of our body, eye, ear, nose, skin, five sense organs are there, all are receptors. All of them receive the stimulus from outside environment and we show the reflex action. There are effectors. Part of the body which shows the reaction to any stimulus is known as an effector. That is, suppose, suppose we touch a, a, a hot pan, what will we do? A, a hot pan we are touching, our skin is receiving the stimulus, skin is the receptor. It is sending the message to spinal cord, message is coming back and we are immediately removing our hand. So uh, we are immediately removing our hand, the muscles of the arm, they are the effectors because they are helping us remove our hand. Okay, so what are effectors? The parts of the body which helps us to or you can say which respond to a particular stimulus is known as effector. There is the response. The response is whatever our body is responding for a particular stimulus. Like suppose we are feeling cold, our body is shivering, chattering of teeth. These are the responses for coldness. Suppose we are feeling hot, our body is sweating, we are feeling uneasy. That is the symptoms or you can say that is the response for a, the sensation of hotness. Okay? These are certain terms which are related to reflex action. Now, the path or the way in which reflex action takes place in our body, a very, 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 very important topic. This is a diagram. This diagram comes for drawing. This diagram is drawn in the paper, you have to answer according to it. But this diagram comes in the exams for sure. Now, what is, first of all, the diagram which I am going to make, it is known as reflex arc. First of all, the definition of reflex arc. The shortest distance travelled by an impulse to complete or you can say to perform a reflex is known as a reflex arc. When I draw the diagram, the, uh, the statement would be very much clear to you. The shortest distance travelled by an impulse to complete a reflex action is known as a reflex arc. Now, I have explained you all the terms. It will be easy for you to now grasp. Suppose this is the receptor. This is the nerve which is carrying the impulse. This is the spinal cord and 
this is the effect. This is spinal cord. This whole structure is known as the reflex arc. Now you have understood why it is known as arc because it is in the shape of an arc. This is the shortest path which is traveled by an impulse to show the response. Now what will happen here? The receptor will receive the stimulus. It will be picked up by sensory nerve. I have explained this nerves in my previous video which has the structure, which explains the structure of neurons. Simultaneously I have explained these nerves also. If you want to uh, 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 go through this, you can follow the video. Receptors, they receive the, uh, receives the stimulus and they are picked up by the nerves which are known as sensory nerves. Pass it to spinal cord. Spinal cord again sends the message. The message is picked up by motor nerve and is passed to the last part that is the effector which has to show the effect. We have already done the definition of receptor of effector. So you know what is a receptor? The part which receives the stimulus. It is receiving the stimulus. The nerve which is carrying that stimulus to spinal cord that is the sensory nerve. You can learn it like this that sensory nerves pick up the impulses from sense organs because I have already told you that all the sense organs they are the receptors. So the nerve which carries the impulses from sense organs to spinal cord is the sensory nerve. From spinal cord back to the effector that is the motor. This is the shortest path which an impulse can follow. If it has to go to brain that would be a longer distance to travel. That is why the cranial arc is not discussed here. It's not there till plus two also. I'm not taking up that topic. So this is the def uh, this uh, clarifies the definition that it is the shortest path which is traveled by an impulse to uh, uh, perform any reflex action. Definition I have told you. This is the diagram, a very very important diagram. These are the labelings, very important labelings. And if you draw these labelings, if you write the definition at all, you are sure to get the full marks. Now, uh, for uh, in our next video, I'll be taking up uh, the structure of ear and uh, eye. If you if you want to uh, follow the videos, please do subscribe my channel.